and then it decides, okay, I, don't, I no longer need that actuator open, then I'm going to feed another 24 volts to the, to the clockwise, and I'm going to, for 15 seconds, and I'm going to drive it all the way back where it, the way it came from. Or it could feed another 24 volts to open it even more on the counterclockwise, or close it, or whatever direction it is, right? So that's what these signals are. See, what you will see is you'll see the 24 volts, just it, it will, it'll come and go. Uh, so you'll see it and then you won't. And when is there's no voltage there, it's just going to be in a locked position by the gears. The gears on that actuator are, in, they will lock that shaft in place to where it won't rotate without voltage. Same thing will happen on these, by the way. You turn that 24 off, it's going to lock in. It's very common for these to get out of sync. So if that uh, system controller either hasn't done a sync in a while or it hasn't, um, uh, it hadn't had a power cycle in some time, it may, it, it may think, you know, 100% open, it, it may only be 60%. And it's because that time sequence has gotten out of sync with itself and it doesn't actually know its real position. And so usually mo most of these systems, when you cycle power, it will do an automatic calibration at power up. Not always, but the vast majority will.